your hints, it feels like something that came from the future. To give you like a little context of what a three axis gimbal typically looks like, this is a gimbal. This is also touchscreen. A lot of things that I can do on here. So I'm gonna plug this into my phone. I mean, this is this is honestly game changer. Oh guys, I'm Alan, and today we're checking out the DJI Osmo Pocket. And this is a very impressive camera. It's a game changer for sure for creators and people who even want to make movies. This thing is on a three-axis gimbal, super small in your hand, and we're gonna unbox it right now. It does have a companion app, which is really useful. And you'll see the biggest to biggest YouTubers unbox this, like uh, just the biggest ones, They and they're all impressed by it. So let's go ahead, bust it open. One hand in it. And uh, you can get these through the link in the video description. That'll bring you over to Amazon, and then just search Osmo Pocket. You're going to want one of these for sure when I show you what it can do. But right now, this video is just an unboxing video, hands-on. I'm going to actually take a trip to Vegas this Friday, and we'll do some crazy video shots out there. So here's the device itself. We'll open that more in a second. Let's see what else is in that box. Here we go. Some accessories. And this feels pretty heavy, but I guess there's just a gel packet in there and the instruction manual. Hopefully there's something with some pictures. And yeah, just a simple black and white you'd expect. Now, this thing charges with a Type-C charger. Let's see if that's in here for a fast charge. And if you have a newer phone, you can just use your phone charger to take care of it. All right, so what do we got here? Okay, so we have... Uh, little dongle or something you can connect this to the camera keep it on your wrist to keep it from dropping i don't know if i'll use that i like the way it looks and everything probably a good idea to use it for sure we have the uh, fast charger here usb to type c very nice you also have an adapter here of some sort um we'll take a look closer look okay some interesting adapters here um I'll just let you guys make your own judgment on these. I'm not familiar with how these work quite yet. And now for the device itself. I'm really excited. Now, there were a lot of different packages where you could get this camera that came with different things. I got the more expensive one because it had fast shipping. Um, it came with a 32 gigabyte SD card. Now I got a 128 gigabyte one in my car. I can use that for it. Filming on this. We got this thing. It blows air. I'll never use that. I guess it's to blow the lens off. Maybe I'll use it, and then this is like a little duster tool. So we'll look at that. Well, pretty much I like this SD card. And then some packages were offering a custom case for the device. This one did not offer it, but I'm noticing they all offer it because it comes in it. Look at this awesome case. I really wanted this. I was not expecting it to come with it. Look at this case. I'm very happy with this. This is going to protect it, and this is an essential. This listing for this didn't even have this shown, but it comes with it, and it's something I really wanted. I almost got a different one just so I could get this case, but it said it would be here like next year, so I want this one, and I really lucked out here. Go ahead and open the case gently here on inside. You can see the device. First thing we're seeing is the uh, back side of the camera, and of course an SD slot for a micro SD. So very carefully remove this from the case. All right, the thing with gimbals is when they're not on, they just tend to spin all over the place. Now, I want to be gentle with this. Um, what makes this amazing is it's 4K, 60 frames per second, recording capabilities with the built-in gimbal. Gimbal is what professional movie studios use uh, to shoot Hollywood movies. And... One this size has never been seen. You're essentially being equipped with the camera with the capabilities of what Hollywood use, would use to shoot a movie. This is next level. And the, the fact that it fits in your hand and it's just tiny, almost unnoticeable, incredible. I'm really excited about this. It's going to make my trip to Las Vegas really fun this Friday. We're going to shoot some cool stuff and make some movies 
guys, if you're enjoying the video, please consider subscribing. Become our friend here, the family, me and Jane. We run the channel, and uh, we would love to make some friends and for you to subscribe. Also, feel free to drop a comment. We'd love to talk to you. And uh, last but not least, hit that thumbs up button. Just smash it, boys. Let's go ahead and look at the back of the camera. Does it say anything on here? When using for the first time, follow the steps in the DJI Mimo app. So we want to download that application. Um, so it says these buttons here. We got the power and function button on the right. Right there. And then we got the record button right here. Also the shutter button. Yeah, this is really nice. Oh, yeah, guys. Something I'm overlooking. Here's a little screen where you get to see what's going on right here. And I'm talking about like big YouTubers were blown away by this. Like uh, Justine. You guys all know Justine. She was blown away. She couldn't believe it. She said this is really a game changer. Also that one guy in New York that skates everywhere. You know. What's his name? Casey? Yeah, he was blown away by it too. So I knew I had to get it, unbox it, and uh, try it out. Shoot some videos. Also, this yellow tab, I got to remove that. It says, remove before powering on. Be gentle there. We also have a lens protector on right now. So I guess unboxing videos, you're supposed to do all that because people enjoy that. So we got that off. Now, how do I remove this little yellow guy without hurting the device? Real gently. I'm going to use two hands for this one moment. Okay, so it just slides right out of there. Like so. Looks good, man. We're ready to party. Now we're going to go ahead and get that Mimo app. That's the companion app for this. Um, if you guys are looking for it, you can get it on the Google Play Store or Apple iTunes Store. Yes. Worked with iMovie and Final Cut Pro X for Mac users. This is the Osmo Pocket Model OT110. We'll put a link to Amazon in the video description. Click that link, please. That helps support the channel. And just search Osmo, O-S-M-O, Pocket, P-O-C-K-E-T. It'll pop right up for you. Tons of options. This is DJI, top of the line. You can't get better than that. And I'm really excited about it. Really excited. We're going to bring a ton of content to the channel with this. I'm going to be using this on a daily basis to shoot incredible content that is movie-like. When you see the videos from this, real life at 4K, 60 frames per second, begins to look like a fluid, high-resolution video game. All right, we had to move locations because my air conditioner kicked on over there. Uh, so I discovered something else here. We're going to be very gentle with this. Got to protect that lens. So we're going to lay it with lens face up. And then what I noticed, remember these guys right here? You know what I'm talking about. These little guys with the backs. Let's get that to focus. Yeah. So the way you use them, like this one. I think this one's obviously for iPhone or something. I heard you can connect this right to your phone, on the side of your phone, and use your phone as the viewfinder. That is what these are for. i seen Ju Justine do it um, on YouTube. So the way you connect these is, I was wondering why they gave me a Type-C, it's right here. They slide into place. So very gently, we'll slide that in. And now you plug that to the side of your phone. And your phone becomes a viewfinder. You can also control it with the phone using the app. So it works with iPhone and Type-C phones. So that's pretty exciting stuff. I never noticed how tiny this foot is. LOL. All right, now we'll look real easily how to put this in the DJI case. You're going to want this lens right here facing down so get it facing down and I'm one hand in it but here it goes into the case facing down with two hands it's gonna be a lot more graceful it is protected now go ahead click it and you're ready to travel with your DJI camera it's gonna be incredible guys slap that thumbs up button subscribe 
let's take a look at the app. All right, so I am downloading the companion app for this device. You're going to want it on your smartphone for sure. doesn't matter if it's iPhone or Android. It's called Mimo, M-I-M-O, real easy to find. Now, I was wondering if you put this strap on the device, which, of course, is engraved with that nice DJI logo, very fancy. It's a good idea. I mean, I'm a guy who doesn't like a lot of extra stuff. I don't even like having a phone case, but I, I know that you need one. I know you need one these days. So I got one. Anyway, I love this case, but my, my question was, where would that fit within this if we were to use it? Also, let's go in the sunlight here. Okay. So, looking at this, it has a Type-C charging port right there. Um, but I don't know where that strap would hang out if you were to connect it. All right, time for a closer look at this nice camera here we're gonna power it on for the first time now watch what happens you hold this button in and the gimbal sets up so it's holding steady wherever you point it now this is a touch screen take a look at that we're gonna go with English as it's the only language I know whoopsies not Chinese please so I'm hitting this option button. It's not selecting. Let's hit record, see if that does it. Now what do I got to tap? English? Okay. Device not activated. Okay. I don't know what that means. Let's figure this out. Alright, we're going to power on the Osmo. And this is a look at the back side. And then wherever you point in our filming, and wherever you point in our filming, which you can see on screen when you're actually recording, it's going to automatically keep it smooth. Now you can raise it or lower it. And it's like a Hollywood camera. This is top of the line. Now there's no buttons to move the gimbal around because you don't need to. You move your arm, it follows. It keeps it smooth no matter where you go. If you transition to the right fast, it'll slowly use the gimbal to transition over slowly see that like a hollywood movie all right guys here we're going to take a look at that dji mimo app so up in the top left corner is a camera you're going to click it to pair your device it's going to put out a search now i haven't clicked anything on the actual osmo camera so we'll see if it senses it or if i have to do something to uh to turn on bluetooth no osmo found ensure it's powered on place it near a mobile device Okay, I got that. Let me restart it once. Yeah, it's not finding it. Device has not been activated. How do I activate this bad boy? Activation. Before activation, download DJI Mimo from the App Store. Power on the Osmo Pocket. Remove the universal ports cover and mount the smartphone adapter. Connect the mobile device to the Osmo Pocket with the smartphone adapter, and the DJI Mimo app will pop up automatically. Wow. Okay. Let's do that. So. You must be gay, must marry, must honey nut. That honey nut's just fucking toasting in there. Alright guys, so I've been trying to connect this to the Osmo app um, through DJI. And I found out that you can't wirelessly connect it without the wireless module. You have to buy separately for it, which is fine. It's not a deal changer for me. 
I hate that wireless stuff. It's slow. This is included. I'll just bring this with me on my trip. It slides right in there. So when you get back to the hotel room, slide it in there, connect it to your phone, drag all the data over, and you're good to go. And you can just use the app as you would. You can also use this to film, as we had mentioned, walk around with it. But I'm going to just have this in my hand and be doing it without the phone at all. Now, I thought it would be a good idea to take a look at the touchscreen on the Osmo and go over some of the menus. I apologize if this is not the best view, but it's the best view I can get with my camera. So if you swipe up, you're going to have this option. Um, what's it do? Hang on, I'm going to swipe back up. Okay, so that just recenters it. Wherever you're aiming it, it's going to recenter it. This one here, that one's not doing anything. Let's click the little guy. Fast follow. So, say I move it, it's going to move super quick. It's still going to be smooth, but look at that. There's no delay. I want a slow follow. I want that cinematic Hollywood effect. And then what's this here? Don't know it's blanked out. Heard there's a ton of uh ton of what do you accessories you can get for the Osmo. If you scroll left, you're gonna see your movie gallery, video gallery, photo gallery. Okay. If you scroll this way. I guess that was if you scroll right, I'm sorry. And then if you scroll left, you're gonna be able to switch between video, photo, uh slow-mo. It's really hard to show you with my big thumb in the way. Time lapse. And pano. So I don't know about all those features. For the most part, I'll be using video, and we'll learn more about pano and slow-mo. Because slow-mo is a great feature, especially in 4K 60 frames per second. Um, so we'll close that menu. And then if you swipe down... Sorry, I must have swiped to the right. If you swipe... Oh... Looking for the settings menu. I thought it was if you swipe down. There we go. So swiping down, we got the settings menu. There's a lot of stuff in here. You can change your picture mode. AFC to AFS. You can turn pro mode on or off. Now pro mode's on. That probably just means it ain't doing all the work for you. you got to set up all the settings perfectly. So I don't want pro mode on. Um, I apologize for how bright the screen is appearing on here. Oops, didn't want to show you that quite yet. So, I'm struggling to say the least. It's easier when I'm looking right at the camera, but I'm looking at it through the viewfinder on my phone here. Okay, turn pro mode off. Brightness. Okay, so every time you tap it, it adjusts the brightness. So right now it's fairly dim. That might be better for recording. This, this is some sort of power off Osmo before placing it in a waterproof case. So I think that's to get it in a waterproof case. You go to that setting to set it up to be ready. And then if you go, if you tap on the gear icon, here's all the real good stuff. It shows your battery life calibration so if you're holding it straight you can recalibrate it by tapping that uh, auto power off five minutes storage shows the storage on your SD card that's remaining accessories anti flicker more let's take a look at more language reset device info very cool how do I get back now oh geez not this again no oh my god what did I do oh god Oh God, what did I do? Oh, I'm so effed. Let's see if we can figure out where language was. Oh my gosh, I think it was under more. Was it the middle one? No, I'll go back. There we go, thank goodness. I thought it was all over, folks. I thought it was all over. Okay, and that button, of course, this is the back button, so that's useful. What else we got? Uh, Anti-flicker, 50 megahertz, ketone, accessories. What the hell is this? Okay, so these are things you have to buy. Wireless module, 
dial calibration, control stick calibration. So if you want to buy those, you can. Um, let's see. Once again, you can find the Osmo camera on Amazon. Just click the link in the video description. That'll bring you to Amazon and search Osmo. O-S-M-O. So what else did we have here? There's something that caught my eye. Where'd it go? Battery. Photo. Pro. Hmm, I thought there was something that stood out to me. Okay, so what I want to do, I want to figure out how we can change the quality from 1080, 30 frames per second to 4K, 60 frames per second. So let's try to figure that out. Because I haven't seen that option. It's got to be probably under here. Quality. So we're going to turn on super fine. It says it'll get hot. The device will get hot. That's fine. We've three starred the quality. Uh, it's still saying 1080p, 30 frames per second. So we turned on super fine, but we got to get it over to 4K. All right, so that pro menu, once that's enabled, it allows you to click the pro icon in the top left. And uh, you can adjust color, light balance, exposure, and volume. That's the pro menu. Okay, a very important setting on the Osmo by DJI is video mode, the video quality. So on the when you slide left from the main menu, you'll be on this this new menu where you can select video, then slide to the left again once you're on video and select your resolution. We're going to definitely be doing 4K 60 frames per second. Love it. All right, we are ready to activate our DJI Osmo, but first you need that DJI Mimo app. You can see I got it here, uh, but when I turn the device on, it still says hope I don't got to select English every time. It says format memory card device not activated and then you get locked at this screen. So I'm going to help you guys. Uh, remember this little piece earlier that I slid in here? You actually need to slide it in there and then they want you to connect your smartphone to it. So this would go better if I had help. All right, so you're going to connect that to your smartphone. It says it'll automatically pull up the Osmo app. Device charging slowly. Okay. Allow DJ here. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I'm working like three different phones here. Allow DJI Mimo to access Osmo Pocket. Yes. Okay, we agree. Just signed my life away. Obtain the info from the Osmo. And we're going to enable this. I'm like doing it through my camera. I'm watching the camera screen. Activate after login. It wants me to log in, so let's look into that quick. Okay, I have not logged in, but I see right now it's automatically downloading firmware for the Osmo Pocket, so that's exciting. Um, what I seen big YouTubers doing, they were walking around like this, holding the device, and the phone was the full screen for the DJI Osmo, and then they could also control the camera from the screen. Um, they were saying, you know, it's kind of bulky like that, but I seen them doing it, so that is an option. I think I'm just going to primarily use this for the initial activation which is required you got to connect it like this don't worry it also comes with that iPhone port to do it okay so I've created the free account and here we go I logged in it says two-year warranty accidental hardware damage covered water damage free shipping do I just get that or hopefully that's just included um, Osmo pocket it's loading something $31 free shipping. What are they talking about? No, I don't want to buy that warranty. Thank you so much. How do I get out of this? Receive the latest deals. Okay, a lot of spam going on here. I'll hit the back button. And 
If you have already purchased Osmo Shield, tap here to bind. Oh, skip! There's a skip button in the top right. That should save you guys time. Notice for beginners. It's recommended to use the micro SD card max 256 gigabytes with the UHS speed grade 3 rating. Well, I got a big ass one in there, 128 gigabytes. Press and hold power button on and off. Press once to switch between video and photo mode. And return to previous menu. Press twice to recenter. Oh, that's good to know. And press three times to switch camera between facing forward and backwards. The record button. Press once to take a photo or start stop recording. Adjust the gimbal's tilt manually or use virtual joystick on the touchscreen. Oh, so there is a virtual joystick on the touchscreen. I want it to be automatic personally. Swipe the touchscreen to access more features. For better quality, do not block the microphone. It's right there above the record button. Awesome, we're ready to go. So, I'm going to go ahead and take this off of here and continue. Alright, with it connected, you can see the live view. See how nice it and smooth it turns, even though I'm yanking the camera around? Very cool.